All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off and foremost, as always, I'm going to say, call Loim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, Shalom to Sensor Akim out there uh, that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Okay, so the, the, uh, this lesson is going to be titled, You're Not Alone. Okay, you are not alone in this spiritual battle. Okay, now of course, the scriptures say you know, um, you, you know you, that you wouldn't work out on your own salvation, you know, because every brother and sister in this truth, you know, we have a um, a path that the Lord has set up for us, you know. So of course, you know, we want to, you know, um, you know, serve the Lord with with, with all sincerity and truth. You know, and, and, you know, and um, strive for the truth, you know, work out our own path, you know, but but don't forget that, uh, you know, you have brothers and sisters, you know, that um, that is on, on your side. OK, now, of course, first and foremost, you know, we have the the, uh, the Lord, you have about Shai, but, you know, carnally, we have, you know, the brotherhood. All right. You now, you know, uh, we have each other. All right. So. You know, you don't want to get that you have, you know, a sincere, you know, Akim, you know, and, and, and a few sisters, you know, that um, that are also going through the things, you know, that that you're going through right now, you know, whatever the case may be. OK, whether it be, you know, going through, you know, the uh, spiritual battle, you know, whether it be financially, you know, whether, you know, it could be just, you know, Babylon, you know, you Babylon and you just catching hell. On, you know, on a regular basis, you know, however, you know, however, excuse me, whatever it is, just know that you're not alone. OK, so real quick, I'm just going to get this, this scripture. Let's get this real quick. It's the book of um. First Peter five and verse nine, I'll start at verse eight and it says, uh, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a warning line. Walk with the bout, seeking whom he may devour. Okay, in these last days, you want to be, you want to be circumspect. You want to keep your head in the swivel. Okay, because you know, um, in, in these last days, times are gonna get heightened. Okay, Esau, you know, he's gonna cast out the, you know, his, uh, his spells and his witchcraft and try to and try to deceive. But guess what? Don't be ignorant to uh, to uh, Esau's devices. All right, don't be uh, oblivious to what's going to, to what's going on around you, okay? And verse nine it says, "Home, resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world." Okay, so, so even though you, you, you know, even though you may be going through certain things right now, even though you may feel down, even though you you may be in, in a low spirit, you know, but guess what? Just know that brothers. You know, and, and some sisters, you know, are, are going through the same thing, you know, uh, uh, right now. OK, that that are in the world. OK, but guess what? You know, uh, those same brothers and, and certain sisters have have overcome, you know, have 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 um, have uh, accomplished, you know, and and, and, uh, and got and gotten through those uh, those, uh, those hurdles. OK. And even then, you know, uh, if you're going through something, hey, you know, uh, whether it be bad or good, you, you know, you still want to praise your about Shemal Shai always, okay? Because, you know, you, you uh, don't just want to pray the Lord in good cases, but also in bad cases, okay? Didn't uh, St. Job, he said that, he said, uh, shall we not receive evil with good, okay? So, so all these things that you're going through is through, is, is ordained through, the, you know, the Most High, Yahweh about Shemal Shai, okay? So I'm going to read that one more time. Uh, 1 Peter 5, verse 9, it says, Home resist that fast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Okay, and real quick, I'm going to read the same scripture, but I'm going to read it in the, uh, the NLT, just real quick. All right, 1 Peter 5, and 9, in NLT, and it says, um, Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Right, man, you want to be strong in your faith. Because the, the scriptures say that without faith, it's, uh, it's, it's impossible to please Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay? And it says, remember that your Christian brothers and, and sisters are right now, the Christians are who? Are, are, are the Israelites. All right? 
those uh, those are the Christians. Okay. It says, uh, remember that your Christian brothers and sisters all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. And that's in the NLT. Okay, so it's it's more of a straightforward, you know, um, straightforward verse, you know, to uh, to get a better understanding of First Peter five or nine. Okay, so even though you know, uh, like I said earlier, you know, even though you may be feeling like, you know, uh, you can't push them more, you know, even though you, you may feel like you know you uh, uh, you are uh, going through it a lot, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, through thick and thin. Hey, man, just th listen. Don't worry. Okay. Because you are not alone, all right. There are there are so many testimonies of brothers and sisters, you know, things they went through here in Babylon, you know, or wherever they may be scattered at. Okay, so don't feel like you're in this fight alone because you're not, all right. This is the book of Romans. Excuse me, not Romans. First Corinthians. 10 and verse 13 excuse me uh first corinthians 10 and 13 and it says there have no temptation taken you but such as is common to man and that's one thing too you know uh, um the things that we go through you know um these things happen to a lot of people out you know out in the world okay but guess what you know uh, uh we have the comforter Okay, we have uh, Yahweh Bashma Shai to lean onto, as well as the brotherhood. Okay, as well as you know the few sisters. All right, we have a uh, 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 like-minded people who we can go to, you know, because because we know why we're going through it, you know, because right now you know we're being uh, purged, cleansed. All right, we're going through the baptism. Okay, to be made perfect. All right being purged you know of 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 our um impurities if you will okay that's why uh that's why we're, we're going through things that are common to man okay and it says but the most high is faithful who will not send for you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it okay so guess what the most high is not going to give you anything that you can't handle okay because he knows you know that that the uh that w whatever you're going through all right he knows that you're going to get through it okay because why because he put you through it that's why all right and he knows that you're going to call upon him he knows that you know you're going to you know um you know lean unto him all right and then eventually you know that the uh, 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 Shai is going to uh, um make you you know um overcome that uh that uh battle that you're going through or you know whatever uh, uh, um, uh, situation that you are you know um, going through right now in your life, okay. So whatever is put in front of you, you know you want to take it cheerfully, as it says in the book of Sirach. I'll get that real quick. So Sirach uh, two and verse four it says, "Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient without our change to a low estate." Okay, so you don't want to be impatient, man. Okay, if, if you're going through something, just uh, just knows for a reason. All right, if the Lord uh, puts you through a certain uh, thing, you know, and hey, man, just know that's for a reason. Okay, take it cheerfully. All right. Now, of course, you know you're not gonna, you know, uh, be happy all the time, you know. But just even this thought of you knowing that the, the, that uh, the Most High is putting you through this, okay, means that he loves you. You know, tough love, okay? Take it cheerfully, all right? And it says, and be patient without our change to a low state, right, man? Be patient, you know? Let uh, uh, let patience uh, uh, work their perfect works, okay? You don't want to rush into things and, you know, and and, uh, and uh, go off your own will, you know? Pray unto the Father, Yahweh Basham al Shai, and let things take its course. All right. Now, of course, you're not, you know, just going to, you know, uh, just say a guru, uh, guru style and, you know, and, and whatnot, you know, but also you, you but also you want to, you know, put your burdens upon the Lord. Okay. But don't forget, you still have, you know, brothers, you know, uh, out there, a few sisters that, that going through the same thing. 
Okay, because you, because you're not alone in this this spiritual battle. Okay, you're not alone while uh, uh, while being captivity. Okay, you're not alone in this fight. All right. This is Romans chapter eight and eighteen, and it says, <clears throat> "For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time." Are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us okay now real quick let's, let's get that in the not just for a more straightforward you know uh, uh verse this is romans 8 and uh, 18 it says yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will uh, he will reveal to us later okay boom you know, and, and which is it's the same thing, really, you know, in Romans 8 and 18, you know, but this is a more a little straightforward, you know, um, comparison, you know, because even though, you know, we, we, we do have the KJV, but, you know, but once you get grounded in this truth, you know, you can, you know, go into certain translations, you know, and they have a, a more straightforward uh, um, uh, um, way of, 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 of uh, putting it. OK, but. But right there in Romans 8 and 18, it said, hey, man, you know, uh, the things that we go through right now, hey, man, it's going to be worth it, you know, because right now we're, we're going through hell. OK. And hey, it sucks. But guess what? It's, it's, it, uh, it's only for uh, a short period of time. OK, because once this hell is over, how about Shemar Shai is going to give us everything that we that we ever could imagine. And then some things that we can't fathom. All right. Because. Soon, even though this is our hell right now, but guess what? Our heaven is going to be coming soon, and that's going to be for all eternity here on earth. All right, for all eternity, man, on earth. All right, living forever. All right, immortality. Okay, having abundance of everything at your arm's reach. Okay, and then some. All right. So whatever you're going through right now, hey man, count it. You know, take it to the chin and count it, and, and be cheerful. Okay. Continue to pray until Yahweh by Shemal Shai, you know, continue to, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, stick with one another, you know, brothers and sisters. All right. Hey, man. Hey, just just hold fast till Yahweh by Shemal Shai returns. OK, so that being said, I was going to say call Lang La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, great millstone that do rule and teach well. And Lord's will, you are edified. With that being said, Shalom.